I have one more thing, and it seems unrelated, and I, I'm sure it's connected, and I'm going to ask for your help with that. So I, um, I was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer, and I, I, I know that I've healed myself of that through your teachings and through raw food diet, and um, I haven't gone back to get rechecked. I know that I've healed it, and I haven't gone back to get rechecked, and I'd like to, from the place that I say that, you know, I'm not going to get a tablet written on saying, Susan, you know, you're healed, it's done, you never have to look back again. I'd like it for me, so... Well, what you heard us say earlier is that you never get it done. In other words, uh -huh. they're, they're, you never reach that place that, that you don't have to keep tuning yourself. Mm. And so, so what you're really talking about, why don't you go? Why don't you go? Because it feels, it feels so out of the vortex. And the other reason I want but, to do it isn't just for me. It's because I want other people to know that they're able to heal themselves if that's what their choosing is also. Well, of course they are. And, but and of course if I don't, if, if I say, well, I healed myself. Oh, really? How do you know? Well, I just know. You know, I mean, I mean, it's, it's really some, also some credibility to let people know that they can do it. You know, if I never go back and get rechecked, then I don't have the credibility to, that they're looking for to, to help them if that's what they want. Because the people that don't want it, that's fine. Go your way, you know. Well, the reason we ask why you don't go have it, go get the physical confirmation that sets you off on that tailspin to begin with, why don't you go back, is if the answer is because, because it feels out of the vortex because... I'm worried that the manifestation doesn't match my feeling. In other words, we, we talk quite a bit already here that, that there is this vibrational reality that is present tense mm -hmm. and that the vibrational reality is where life is and that the manifestation is old news. Mm -hmm. And so as, as you say, if you may be feeling, well, maybe the manifestation isn't yet up to speed with what I know to be. Is there any of that in there? You know, it's probably like 99% I know that it is. And then there's that little niggling thing out so there once in a while. So what is this conversation about? What do you, why are we I would like to just get it? in the vortex about just going and being able to do it without feeling that it sometimes takes me out of the vortex. And sometimes I look at it and say, I'm going to prove what I know. And I'm going so I can help others. So they'll know that they can do it too. And that feels so in the vortex. And then it, there's just a piece of it that I'm not able to put together that takes me out that maybe that, you know, well, what would happen if... But it, does, it, it feels like such well, a tiny it, little it, it minuscule It doesn't really part. matter what the reason is that the discord is there within you. Mm -hmm. If it feels off, it is still off. Mm -hmm. And so there's more vibrational work to do before you take the action. We just don't want to be perceived as someone who's standing on one side of the argument or the other and saying, don't go and have the test or do go and have the test because from our point of view, the test is irrelevant. Mm. It's the vibrational alignment that is the only thing that matters. So if you were saying to us, the reason that I don't go is because I, I, I don't feel stable in my own vibration and I'm, I think it might upset my vibrational alignment, then we would say that's a very good reason not to go. Mm. Because anything that upsets your vibrational alignment is really ultimately bigger it's like something that is at the center where the, the wheel is spinning with all of its perimeter and the spokes moving out a very small movement at the center makes a bigger movement out there on the edge of it and so at the center of this wheel that we're talking about mm -hmm. is your vibrational alignment with you and so we think it is wisdom within you that says when I think about that it feels off and therefore I'm not going to do it there is a whole school of thought that says oh you just need to push through you need to push through the things that feel uncomfortable and chances are it'll turn out the way you wanted it to anyway and then you'll feel relief and and then you'll be glad that you did it but we are never proponents of pushing through we are proponents of lining up energy and then taking inspired action mm.
line up energy and then take inspired action and and when it when you're dragging your feet when you don't even can't even make yourself go that's not inspired action which means you've not lined up your energy mm -hmm. on that subject and it doesn't mean that it's right or wrong to go it mm -hmm. means that there's still some vibrational work for you to do about it is there some assistance that you could offer me because yes in and getting what, part of it and we that? think we think the biggest piece of it for you is wanting to prove something to others that that's the thing that takes more people out of the vortex than maybe all other things put together because what it is doing it is putting their response to you ahead of your alignment with who you are mm -hmm. so you just have to just not give a rip Mm -hmm. what anybody else is doing but now in the context of this teacher healer uplifter that we've been talking about in this gathering so can you can you let's go back here for just a little bit because it's a perfect time for you to feel with us what we're talking about you're right on the brink of knowing what we know about this so let's just stay here till you know it as we know it so you get the sense of alignment you you understand the concept of the vortex you understand the out of the vortex the in the vortex you understand the feeling or the mood of alignment inside the vortex but do you understand that along with the mood or the feeling of inside the vortex is alignment with the energy that creates worlds it is alignment with power powerful good because of the absence of resistance in other words it's the pure side of the wave there's there's it, or it's a wave with two ends of it that are both high frequency is a better way of saying it in mm -hmm. a vibrational world mm -hmm. so inside this vortex where you've tuned yourself to this wave that is all pure positive energy and nothing by earth standards resistance uh, resistant about it at all now the signal that you're emanating is a signal that is identical to and matches precisely the vibration that is at the core of everything and everyone who exists so now we're talking about core energy we're talking about cellular energy we're talking about basic energy we're talking about we're talking about you in your physical form like a satellite dish beaming in a signal of well-being and emanating it to the boundaries of your environment and assisting others on a cellular level that how do you think a healer heals what how could Jesus or there were so many of them how could he lay on his hands or offer his awareness how could a body come into immediate alignment with wellness in that moment it was because of the vibrational perfection that he had achieved you and see. lack of resistance well they mean, the, same on the, thing. Other part. They mean yeah, the same thing right. vibrational perfection is absence of resistance I meant on the recipients part there was that well, lack of resistance well, and belief that they could he could yes, heal them yes but but we're we're going a step beyond that in this gathering as we're saying when your vibration is that pure you momentarily dominate the vibrational field what we said years and years ago that if you have a desire that is really dominantly pulsing within you even though you have a belief that contradicts it if your desire is strong enough it will override your belief mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. whatever the strongest vibration is is the one that gets all the airtime so if you have practiced yourself into the vortex and you are in alignment with this energy that creates worlds you are emanating and teaching through the clarity of your vibratory example not through your words not through your books not through your conversations not through your forums not through your not through your physical interaction not through your tests not through your proof not through your studies not through your documentation you are uplifting you are influencing your teaching because you be source And you are so 
close to knowing that and close to being that and when you deviate from it you suffer and then you want to blame that bugger who seemed to be the reason you have deviated oh I was so in the zone before you <laughs> before you did that to me when what that person has done to you is just said a little more milking from inside the vortex will keep the likes of me from getting to you <laughs> That was good. That was great. That was great. Get out. I thank you. I love you. Wait. Start moving. Not you. Keep moving. Not you. Not you. Keep moving. <laughs> 